Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video I'm going to do a review of this um, IBM ThinkPad X4C that I bought for $10 from the uh, online somewhere that I found on uh, Mula.by. So yeah, this IBM X40 comes with, um, with the docking station as you can see down there. That's why this laptop is pretty thick. But in reality, this laptop is smaller than I thought. Anyway, so the first thing first I'm going to review um, is the um, it's a docking station. Okay, so let's see what's underneath this thing. Okay, so here we are, the docking station. So this is the laptop itself. It's really small. It's thin, and yeah. Okay, so uh, this is the docking station. As you can see, we got a ventilation system right there. This is the uh, the power or the plugging thing. This is the latch. As you can see here, right here. Okay, this is the instructions on how to plug it in back or on how to take it off. And this is the ports back here. Got the VGA, I don't know what is this, I don't know what is this, and this is the telephone port and probably like a Wi Fi port or something. We got three USB 1.0, and this is the PS2 um, port. Okay, so this is we have a slight corrosion right there, and down here we have more ventilations. Look, have more ve ventilations, We've got rubber feet, and something. This IBM. Um, thing anyway this is the docking station and after that I'm going to review the laptop itself so this is the IBM X40 that I bought at $49 comes with a charger and the docking station well as you can see the IBM ThinkPad right here the condition is definitely not the greatest it's got water damaged corrosion and here's the uh, port sd card the uh, headphone microphone usb the battery it did comes with a battery but uh, i removed the battery and i seriously afraid to use a battery because it might explode because the condition of the battery is not great it's water damaged as well and yeah, it's not water damage, it's like the previous owner left this laptop outside. And yeah, we have the ventilation, exhaust fan, and the uh, USB. We've got two USB down there, it's pretty neat. We have this VGA and the power cable to power on this laptop. Okay, so down here we have the uh, Windows XP product key. As you can see, it there there are a lot of there are lots of corrosion. So yeah, the previous owner left it outside, and yeah, this is the IBM, the uh, speaker ventilation, and like that. Well, you get what I mean. The condition is not as great. Oh well, yeah. So let's flip up the screen with the latch right here, and you will see a lot of mess going on inside the. Uh, the laptop okay so the screen is okay the keyboard is okay but I did uh, disassemble this laptop and there is um, invincible invincible screw right here that I cannot see whenever I want to take it out so when when I um, damaged this laptop when I first it's not my first I mean I have been taking this laptop apart many many times and I do not see this one last screw and I did something uh, and I damaged the um, this thing right here the uh, the screw but it's not big of a deal also because this this thing this res residue 
you know, the glue thing can't can't get out there are lots of glue residue as you can see right there but by the way the keyboard is uh, really nice everything works I did repair this laptop I put the um, I installed the uh, Lubuntu um, i386 I believe for the um, for the operating system to make it running and yes this thing is still usable in 2021 it's it can be usable as a video player for you to watch uh, YouTube videos and do something I mean it's not a big of a deal but at least it can run for ten dollars it still be used as a laptop or television if you like to use it as for, if you like to use it for anyway let's power this laptop on and let's see what do we have by the way I really love this laptop this is one of the best laptop that I found on the internet for ten dollars you will never get this thing for ten dollars like honestly this thing is antique well the condition of this thing is intensely uh, what we say it's not the greatest from the outside but the interior the motherboard everything is still okay they do have lots of corrosion inside but it still works perfectly the sound card works the speaker works everything works in here okay so yeah let's power this laptop on and let's see the specification of this laptop if you want to see okay okay before I turn on this laptop I flipped up the screen I uh, I plugged the docking station as you can see down there there is a power button as you can see look at that there is a power button this is a power button and that is a power button look the um, above the keyboard but never mind that is not the um, the main focus of this video but before we before I turn on the laptop let's talk about the feature that this laptop has okay so this laptop have the um, middle um, middle mouse click right here if you can see why there is a middle mouse click if you don't know this thing is uses for as a scroll wheel if you have a scroll or as a mouse you can scroll like this but this one is a pretty unique feature it can be used as this and you scroll down the web and you can use this anyway it's a uh, pretty stupid idea to say but one thing I want to say that the um, the hard drive is really really hard to get this is not the regular ID hard drive you can found on the internet but this is the um, the weed version of the hard drive. It uses the IDE, but it's the shorter version. Let me take it out for you. So yeah, this is the hard drive that I'm talking about. This is uh, its original hard drive that uh, included when I bought this laptop. This is its original hard drive, the 40 gigabytes. Um, I don't know what's this hard drive called. I'm pretty sure that it's called PATA Parta um, Hard Drive HDD. Um, yeah, Parta. This is the short version to make it running. I mean, it can run the normal version, but if you want to make it look nicer, look more smaller, use this. But this one, I believe, I bought this pair part. I think it could be. Um, it could be. Um, the new version of it because I'm not sure because the branding is from IBM X41 but it comes with sealed packaging I'm not sure if I bought it new or used the condition of the new hard drive I bought inside this laptop is really really shiny it's clean it is like a brand new hard drive you bought off of the uh, internet like brand new but I'm not sure if it's brand new or used anyway enough of talking too much of this IBM laptop and yeah let's power this laptop on let's see what's what's inside of it okay before that I'm going to um, take a look around at its um, um, BIOS utility F1 click that okay so it turns out that this laptop is from 2006 the release date is um, I, th I think it's from 2004 but the, uh, the BIOS has been updated to 2006 
Okay, so uh, you see right there, the uh, the processor is one gigahertz. Wait, really? I'm actually surprised that this processor is one gigahertz. It can run Lubuntu. Wow, I'm so surprised by that. Intel, Pentium, R, and processor. I I I seriously believe that this laptop is from 2004. The bias date is updated to 2006 year and yeah it got uh, one gig and two eight uh, meg megabytes uh, ram this everything right here right there i'm not sure the intel centrino pentium i'm not sure if it's centrino or the pentium i'm pretty sure that this laptop has been um still using its pentium i i legitimate thought that it's using the Centrino. Anyway, it's got the M processor. It means that it's I don't know probably the mobile version. It's one gigahertz processor. It's really small, and one gig of um, RAM. Everything here is completely outdated to use nowadays. But seriously, it's seri it it seriously can run YouTube video. But I have to download the video separately. Okay. Never mind, let's uh, start up this laptop using Lubuntu. Um, this card changes. Uh, no, I don't want to load anything, no. So the crazy story about this laptop that I bought, uh, I actually bought this laptop for about uh, one year and a half. I mean, not really and a half, I bought uh, in 2021, in, a, uh, in March or something. Because uh, when I bought this laptop, the owner left it outside just to re recycle the laptop. Well, I bought this laptop and saved its life, and yeah. So, when I first tried to fix it, it's literally the most hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. It took me like almost one year to fix this. Because of why, it's like nothing can run in this laptop. No operating system, no everything, no Windows XP, no, no nothing. I mean, it can run Windows XP if I have the legitimate CD drive, but I can't afford that. So yeah, I have to install Ubuntu for it, and thankfully, it runs well. Um, it's nothing much about it. I I tried so many things to make it running, and it successfully runs. And yeah, there is a one thing of the uh, operating system called a tiny core, but I'm not going to be using that. I'm using the uh, Lubuntu because it's much more modern and it's and it can be used. Okay, so if you don't believe me this laptop is working, well you see down there, the blinker, you see, and that is a Wi-Fi. The whole laptop itself is fully working. You can browse the internet, you can watch a video and I already said that. Anyway, okay, let's see the laptop. Okay, so the Wi-Fi is plugged in, that means the Wi-Fi still works. The, uh, the speaker. Well, we already know this laptop is 1 GHz processor. It's not 1.4, it's 1.0. Well, how can this laptop be used in 2022? It's not 2025, 2022. It's like, what the hell am I talking about? It's so old. I mean, this laptop is not that old, it's from 2004. Well, I born in 2005. And yeah, I have my video, I have the videos collection that I downloaded from the internet using the Mozilla Firefox. And I have the videos right here. I need to open up for you. I mean, it's from downloads, right? Yeah, it's from downloads. And yeah, let's try open up one of the random videos that I found on the internet. Yes, it's called MPV Media Player. Well, the, f the previous video back then I said that the laptop is missing sound driver, but no, but in Lubuntu everything runs. Look at this, this laptop runs extremely well. Well, if you think about what type of quality it runs, I'm going to say the video quality running is 240p. It's uh, quite a lot of I mean, it's not quite a lot of, I mean, it can be used as a video player if you're bored, as for my hobby, I like this laptop a lot, so yeah, I, I'm a weird child, and I don't know why I like this laptop so much, it's just so weird of me. 
Okay, here's uh, the uh, Mozilla Firefox. It's running. It's um, searching the web. It's from YouTube. The YouTube converts everything right here along there. Okay, let's see the um, the YouTube. How's the YouTube looks like in this laptop? Can it run? Am I lying? No, I'm not lying. This laptop is from 2004. I've already read the description of the laptop and the manual in this thing. It's literally from 2004. I'm not joking. It would take like um, two minutes to load one website. I mean, it is quite a lot of time consuming to make this laptop run one single YouTube video. If I want to run a YouTube video, it can run YouTube. It can run YouTube. I mean, if you want to watch the YouTube video, okay, you have to download the video from the internet. That I have right now. I mean, I want to watch this video. Um, the doctor reacts to wild Instagram health posts. Okay, I want to watch this video. Just to show that this laptop is still usable in 2022. It's still usable, but it is lit. It's so slow. It's painfully slow. It's like the most the slowest experience I've ever had in my entire life. The laptop is older than me. I like it so much. That's all. Yeah, the video can run, but it runs extremely laggy. Look at that. It barely works. Everything barely works. The video can run if you download from the YouTube to MP4 converter on the website. Everything can run. Everything runs perfectly well. It did take uh, quite some time to make it running. Well, that's okay. So yeah, this is all about it for this video. The laptop is still working in 2022. I fixed it using the new uh, Lubuntu uh, operating system. I believe that the uh, operating system is still supporting still support it in 2022 well yeah so the laptop still works it can run youtube it can do web browsing it can be work as a laptop it can be work as a youtube player or the music player if you want to use it as it still price quite a lot of money between x40 or the x41 it's just one thing the laptop is so slow it can use the spare part is pretty rare to get because the hard drive, if, if you got one hard drive that is not usable, the broken hard drive, if you want to buy one, it does cost a lot of money. But to me, I live in Malaysia, the country is really far away from USA, and yeah. So this is all about it for this video, for me reviewing the IBM ThinkPad X40 and with the docking station for about $1, the laptop that is still broken, except one thing that I did with this laptop, the screwdriver from the keyboard right there. Okay, let me see. Let me let me show you right there. I mean, life goes on. I can't really do anything. It's just like that. So yeah, goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video. And yeah.